Welcome back to Let's Play Police Quest 1 VGA. We're just heading to the blue room right there. Uh, there's a birthday party for Jack. He's a fellow officer. There he is. You see your friend Jack Cobb sitting at the table. You've noticed that he's been depressed and distracted for days. Well, good thing we're here to cheer him up with a birthday party. You sit down with Jack. It's nice to have a few minutes to talk with him before the party, you think to yourself. So let's talk to him. Hey Jack, happy birthday, man. Huh? Oh, thanks, honey. Yeah. Awkward. Jack, buddy, you look worried. Is something bothering you? Other than getting old, of course. No, no, nothing, Sonny. You are suddenly certain that Jack is lying, and that scares you. Jack, you can tell me, man. Maybe I can help. Uh, Sonny, I think Kathy's on drugs. My little girl. I just can't believe it. Jack, are you sure? How do you know? Well, I don't know for sure. But she's been so nasty for the past few months. Secretive. I know, all teenager, teenagers are like that. But her grades are slipping. Sonny, she's been having nosebleeds all the time. She steals money from us. She was out all night last night, and I... I just... Oh my god, my little girl! Jeez. Saddened and embarrassed, you give Jack a moment to gain his composure. This also allows you to gather your own thoughts. You're not very good with expressing yourself sometimes. And I'm not good at expressing Sunny either. So it works out. Anyway, I don't know what to do. I try to talk to her, and she just screams at me and slams the door in my face. Sunny, we talked to her about sex, but we never talked to her about drugs. I'm a cop for Christ's sakes. I didn't think I needed to. I didn't- Oh, God, Sonny, I don't know what to do. Oh, man, Jack, I... Hey, hey, hey! Where's the birthday boy? There he is! Jack, dude, happy day! Hi, Keith, how's it going? Hi, Keith. You guys look like you're ready for a funeral. Cheer up, dudes! It's not the end of the world, Jack. Plenty of other guys have turned 87. <laughs> you should talk, Keith, my boy. I've seen you popping your dentures in the locker room when nobody's looking. Jeez, I hope. Not me, dude. I'm a stud among muffins. You, on the other hand, are a little girly cop. Watch it, Keith. If Laura heard you saying that, she'd kick your butt sky high. Wow, the stone speaks. It's alive. Hey, hey, Bobby, put on the music, quick. I think uh, Bobby is the owner of the bar right there. Ooh, looks like someone hired Jack a stripper. Look how excited he is. Look how everyone in the bar just turns their head to look at the stripper. Yep. Yep. Clearly, the stripper is making an impact. Happy birthday, Jack, baby! Yo, Kaylee, baby, you're the best! Shake it one more time for me, honey. See you later, boys. Yeah. Wow. Nobody moved while the uh, stripper girl was dancing. Happy birthday, Jack. Huh? 
Oh, Clarice, thank you. Thank you, guys. This is great. Look how excited I am. Ooh. You're a culinary angel, Clarice. Will you have my babies? No, honey. I have too much respect for the gene pool to do that. Ouch, you've been body slammed, Keith. What did she say? She said you were a stud among muffins, buddy. Ha ha ha, Sonny. Way funny. You know what else is funny? You agreed to swap shifts with me last week, remember? You're due in for a briefing in 10 minutes. Now that's funny. Ah, oh, hell, I forgot. Listen, Jack, I got a crew. If you need anything, give me a call, okay? Okay, Sonny. Thanks. Yeah, apparently we uh, are working two shifts today. Then again, if we swap shifts with... Keith? I, I, I don't get that part. I mean, really what happened is they didn't want to uh, let you go home in the game. So they said, oh yeah, um, didn't we mention you were supposed to be working the afternoon shift today? Anyway, let's just get to the police station, alright? Ah, there we are. Now... What? There. <laughs> wow, I actually uh, handed myself through the car. Oh, let's see. I should probably save my game. Second shift. Oops. Ooh. Little uh, Freudian typo there. All right. So, yeah. Apparently, we have to work two shifts today. And I'm not sure if that means we weren't supposed to be working all morning or what. Whatever. So we gotta do all this again. Uh, Police Quest 2. I think that takes place over uh, either two or three days. So you actually get to go home. And then Police Quest 3, I think, is like five days, I think. You change into your trusty blue uniform. You hang up your street duds. Grab that stuff. But, uh, Police Quest 1? Nope, just one day. A day in the life of Sunny Bonds. Grab the radio and keys again, and oh no, we're going to be late. Everyone's here already, oh. Bonds, take a seat. Oh, that was the wrong voice, wasn't it? First off, thank you for taking time away from your usual afternoon debaucheries to come back to work. There's some late breaking news on that stolen Mercedes. A missing persons report was filed earlier in the day by the wife of a certain Jose Martinez, Hispanic male, 145 pounds, brown eyes, black hair. It seems this gentleman was last seen two days ago getting into a fairly late model black Benz. No one has seen or heard from him since. Wait, it gets better. Martinez has an arrest record involving the sale of narcotics. Be careful, people. This car may have been the one involved in the murder of Lonnie West. That's the crash we saw first thing in the morning. Let's get moving on this one, boys and girls, before anyone else dies. Keep your heads down, your eyes open, and above all, watch your backs. Okay, let's move out. And hey, find me that Mercedes before its owner, Malcolm Washington, deep fries my ass. Let's go. Yeah, I think that's the wrong voice too, but I forget. Oh look, Sunny's sleeping. Yep, working two shifts in a day tends to do that to a person. Although I think these I think these are all the same people that were there this morning too, so. And the three guys look exactly the same. Oh well. 
So yes, without even, well, we did get to go to a bar and watch a stripper, well, not even a stripper, but like a girl in a French maid outfit, I suppose would be a more accurate term. Got to watch her dance for a room full of people who had absolutely no interest. You give the car a quick inspection. Everything looks ready to go. Yep, it sure is. So, we'll catch you next time in the next video on patrol. Later!